So we've made it to the Earth Witch. Hello, travelers. What? Huh? How are you talking to us? <laughs> With magic, of course. Oh, wait. You probably don't know magic, do you? Well, that makes sense. Of course you don't know. After all, your village is just has just began to become sentient. It would do so much better if I was the ruler. I know enough about magic to bring a magic use to fight you. That's right. Oh, I see. You think that will protect you, eh? Well, let's see what that does. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. So it seems like she has servants on her. Oh. Watch out. Oh, snap, that was close. Take this. Okay, where, where'd she- oh, she's out. Okay. Now let's go back, guys. Alright. Fair so can you do the thing you did before again? Okay. What? Wait. Neferza! She's... No. What? Stop! Don't get any closer. If you do, we will shoot. Let her go! You really think that we'll just let her go just because you say so? No. We won't give her back. Now we're going to leave and you won't do anything. We can take them, but they have a bow. We won't be able to reach them without casualties. Yeah, I... This is the first time seeing bow. If they shoot one of us, it could be fatal. Barry's right. I don't want any of us to get hurt. We'll just have to find her. It's great that you agree. Now, let's leave. Okay. I should talk to them. Hey, Barry. So, how are you holding up? I know it was a hard decision, and I know that we need to get Nefaris back, but they had a bow. Bows? Bows are really dangerous. If you tried to fight, they would have shot one of us and we might have lost someone. It could have been you, me, or Serene over there. I know that my reasoning is selfish considering I didn't jump to save Nefaris, but I didn't want to lose anyone. I... I understand. How to talk to Serene, he's probably really mad at me. How could you? After she went and helped us out, you just leave her? You had no other choice? I don't want to hear talk about it. Just leave me alone for now. Now to figure out what to tell the Earth King. I know that she's mad at me. How about you, Petey? Yeah, I guess I can't really understand you. Hopefully, you're not mad. Well, I'll just get back to steering, and we'll be on our way to the Earth Kingdom. <sighs> okay, we're here. I gotta go and tell them that we weren't able to find this or even able to save his daughter. This is gonna be really tough. Guards aren't even gonna know me, so they, of course, might just let me pass. People are letting me pass. Um, hey, Your Majesty. Welcome back. Where's my daughter? Um, Your Highness, we beat the Earth Witch, but on our way back, we were randomly attacked by this group of people, and they took your daughter. We weren't able to fight back. I'm sorry. What? She was captured? I trust you with her and this is what I get? 
How do I know you didn't capture her yourself? Your Highness, we won it. We will get her back. Our lives were threatened and we couldn't. So your lives were in trouble so you let them take her? You should have put your lives on the line to protect royalty. I've had enough. Unless you bring my, my daughter safe and sound, you are banned for this kingdom. Now leave. Okay. Let's go, guys. Now to head back to Swantis. I really hope we find her eventually. Sooner rather than later. Well. It's time to leave. Well, we're back, guys. Okay. So just get down here. Seems like Serene's already met her sister. Hey, sis, how was the trip? It was fun. A singer by the name of Ransom was singing, and it was so awesome. We went to the Earth King, and yeah, I don't really want to. Well, probably should listen to all the conversation. Hello. You did it. You brought the Earth Princess and freed our ships. Now we can continue our tr trade. And I'm guessing that the old Earth Witch has been slain? Yes, we beat her. But the Earth Witch, I mean Earth Princess, was kidnapped. She was? This is serious. Who kidnapped her? I, I don't know. These people with their, they had hoods and armor, like different colored armor, and then they had these weird little masks came and they had like bows and they were saying that if we went and attacked them they'd shoot at us and yeah wearing strange masks you say they might that might be the infamous simp group the light princess has also been captured if what you say is true then they might be the ones behind our capture and they might be kidnapping princesses who knows why but we must stop it I'll let my other merchant friends know so they can let other kingdoms know. You should rest. You've already been through enough. By the way, I was going to let you know that I'm going to contact other merchants from Harlem and see if they would be interested in trade with this town. Also for that, we'll need a larger port. Our ships alone nearly have it full. I can build that. How many ships should it be able to dock? About 8 to 10 ships. Got it. Hello. Thanks for freeing our ships. Now I can do more trade. Yeah. Oh, Alias is here. Good to go talk to all. Hey. Hey. You were gone for some time. Yeah. I left with Barry and Serene. Hey, what's up? Um. Hey. No need to be so formal. We're all friends here. Um. Barry, then. That's the spirit. We're on the same boat, you know. Almost randomly appeared here in some way or another. I remember why I was here, though. How about you? Um, okay. Dude, just quit the shyness and talk to us normally. You've had enough time to grow accustomed to the town, so why don't you warm up to us? We're stuck here together, so why not? Barry, calm down. No, it's okay. It's true. I haven't been talking much. Sorry about that, it's just, I'm kind of having a tough time getting used to being lost. If possible, I'd like to get to know you guys, considering we're all in the same boat. Finally, he speaks. Yeah, let's get to know each other. Okay. I have to go to build the port, so see ya. Oh, see ya, Barry. Okay, so Barry left. No. Oh. Sorry. Come, Petey. Let's have you meet someone that's very special to me. His name is Pyro. Pyro, meet Petey. Petey, meet Pyro. Oh, it seems like. Are you hungry? Yeah, I've been. I've been around. Let's come along with me, Pyro. Now. 
I plan on working for the day on my house. So, yeah, I think I'll just do that. Okay. So I'll just start. So I'll leave it here. And so, yeah. Really hope to be able to finish my house someday, because I've been working on this for a long time, but still haven't. Ah, oh, come on, PD. Here, come on, just move. Thank you. Okay. Now just add uh, some of this. Now I'm just going to need to make stairs so I can make the roof. Right. Just going to pick up some of this dirt here. Okay. So, I suggest make a crafting table so I can build these stairs over the roof. Now I got some dirt, so I'll just put it here. You guys can sit here because I'm going to be doing work like this for a while. So, now I just do this. I got some stairs. Might have to cut down a few more trees. But well, okay, then I'm gonna go cut a few more trees. So we'll just start with this one. This one after we plant them. Do I have any saplings on them? Yeah, I do. Okay, just plant these back here. Okay. Now to make some stairs. I should probably make some more for the roof. Okay, just like this. Hmm. Kind of looks like all the other houses. Uh, it should be good. Let's work more on it. Hopefully, I can finish this by today. Then I'll be able to sleep here instead of sleeping at the other place, at someone else's house. I wonder if Bear is gonna make Elias a new home. Probably because they're affected how much he loves building. Yeah, I didn't get any sleep though. The whole thing about the, our princess and not being able to get her has been bothering me. So, I'm gonna feel extra tired, aren't I? And it's already turning to night. I'm getting close with the house. Nope, nope. Keep, hands keep slipping, probably because I'm tired or something. Just gonna finish this right here. Okay. Come on, PD. Pyro. Let's go home.
Well, it's someone else's home, but come on in. There we go. There we go. Well, yep, I'm definitely feeling that sleep. Okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep.